Okay, let's uh, continue with the meeting. Just now, we have obtained a marked up copy showing the changes made. Well, in order not to spend too much time on discussing the uh, wordings, well, let's do it this way. Let's use the original version or the first version. And actually, there is just a regrouping compared to the 27th March version. So let's uh, y y use the original version from Mr. Wong Kwok Kin. I don't know what where the problem lies. Mr. Lam Chak Ting was being personal rather than making his remarks based on facts. He said that these uh, versions should not be used. Well, he should point out exactly why and he should not be um, asking that certain parts proposed by certain members be discarded. I think he's being personal against uh, members here. And now we are discussing the proposed uh, major major areas of study, and we accuse Mr. Holden Chow of colluding with Mr. C. Y. Leung of um, revising the scope of work. But that was done before the proposed scope of work was drawn up. Well, I think we should say change the wordings of the allegations against them. They are just uh, cooperating to amend the proposed major areas of study instead of the major areas of study. Well, that's a, a more logical approach. I don't want to discuss um, all these um, issues anymore. Let's go back to the right path. And in order not to have any further arguments, let's not dwell on this. Let's use the uh, first version as proposed by the um, Secretariat. Well, that's f unfair. Well, he named me and criticized me, and you said that uh, you don't want to have uh, further discussions. Every time um, the pro-establishment camp members criticize us, we were not given any opportunities to respond. Yes, I understand why you are unhappy. In the past, I tried to give uh, ample time for people to express their views, but then we our progress has been too slow um, in the past. Well, Chairman, I am talking about Holden Chow colluding with C. Y. Leung, interfering with the work of the Select Committee, revising the scope or areas of study, and Mr. Holden Chow has made suggestions um, in all the past meetings, uh, suggesting um, for. Um, suggesting amendments to be made to major areas of study. So we should not be used the version as amended by Mr. Uh, Hoden Chow because that will create the suspicion among the public that we are allowing CY Leung and Hoden Chow interfering with the committee's work. Well, Mr. Wong Kwok Kin, don't accuse us of being um, having personal grudges against people. Well, you seem to be turning a blind eye to these two member or the people interfering with the work of the um, committee. So, well, if you start discussing about Hoden Chow, then you will have a lot of views to express. Well, if you don't mind, I would like to go back to this uh, subject matter, Mr. Andrew Wang. I don't think um, Mr. Wong Kwok Kin's comments are fair. So if you don't have any other views, let's uh, use the the version on the 1st of March. Let's uh, work on this version. Shall we go about our work like this? <coughs> what is the legal advisor, the clerk? I think the two versions, um, the one dated 1st of March and the 27th of March is just a uh, shifting the orders of some of the uh, paragraphs. So can you give us the paper number 940-1617-03? Thank you. Mr. Junius Ho. For the proposed major 
areas of study. Uh, um, I mean, they are just there to help us with our work. It doesn't have a statutory status. I don't think we should uh, consider the version on the 1st of March version. But anyway, we've discussed that on the 17th, uh, 27th of March. It's just uh, reordering some of the paragraphs. And we had discussions on the latest version already. And we have uh, gone through the paragraphs word by word. And we think it's uh, it was feasible. Now, after the, the 27th of March, something happened. Some latest developments were took place and then we said we shouldn't be uh, looking at the version on the for the 27th of March well these um, documents just there to help us and I, th I think we should focus on the matter and not um, focus on the persons and Mr. Lam Chuck Ting said that whatever suggestions made by Mr. Hood and Chow should be discarded and we should use a version dated the 1st of March I think this will be a waste. This will mean a waste of our previous discussions. Well, should we be so, sort of dis, uh, disband the entire document altogether? <coughs> a doesn't have a statutory status. We do have a terms of reference. B, it's there to help us only. And after all, um, we it will be up to the select committee to decide exactly on what areas you you would look into. Now we have already accepted the version on the 27th of March, and now we're going back to look at the um, f version on 1st of March. I don't think the logic holds water. Uh, Mr. Wong Kwok Kin suggested that we use, should use the 27th uh, March version, and after Mr. Lam Chak Ting raised his uh, suggestion, then we are now um, going back to the Mar 1st of March version. I think you are. Um, Shifting your stance too easily. Let's uh, stick to the 27th March version. I'm not shifting my stance, but I uh, fully understand Mr. Ma's uh, request. I'm not going to debate or argue with you. Um, there's been such uh, an, a waste of time for us, and I know who exactly who the culprits are. I don't want to put everything to the vote, but the two sides actually are forcing me to do so, to put matter to the vote. I I don't think that would be the uh, way that the committee will conduct itself in the future. But anyway, in order not to procrastinate any more, let's uh, vote whether we should use the 1st of March version or the 27th of March version. It's not an ideal approach, but let's do it this anyway. Chairman, I don't think that's a, an appropriate uh, way of handling it. You've given five minutes for everyone to look at the two versions, and indeed there have been uh, changes. Uh, your reading is that, that there have been reordering of the paragraphs, but then I see that uh, there are substantial changes in certain paragraphs. There may be changes in the logic which will lead to different results, and there are certain conditions added to certain paragraphs. I believe that whether it's the pan-democratic or pro-establishment members have not fully considered the two versions, and you are now putting the matter to the matter to the vote immediately, and the consequences can be very uh, grave. Mr. Lam Chuting said clearly his point, and I don't know why Mr. Wong Kok Kin doesn't see his point. It well, it will not affect the results. No. Well, if you if you want to steal something, you are caught kept caught red-handed, and that uh, will uh, you are, then that uh, I mean it uh, whether you have a, indeed uh, got something um, doesn't matter. Will still gr uh, create a grave consequences. So, chairman, you have to be very prudent in making your decisions. I must stress that. We are not talking about the terms of reference here. Uh, the terms of reference have been endorsed by the House Committee, and that is a, this, a sort of basic law, so to speak, for this uh, select committee. But um, the, this document is to facilitate the work of the select committee, and it's not 
binding and we shouldn't be spending too much time on these wordings. Well, if not for what uh, happened to Mr. Ho and Chao, we should not have been debating or arguing on this. The Secretariat is very professional, they are very neutral, and they are very experienced in doing this type of meta. So let's not argue this on this anymore. Let's use the uh, framework as set out in the uh, 1st of March version. So let's not uh, have discussions on whether we are being personal or what. Well, let's just use this version. We have uh, been um, stalling the matter for too long because the Secretariat would like to get on with the work as soon as possible. They would like to use the summer recess to get all the preparations done. If we can't agree on this today, the whole summer break will be wasted. So, so um, we'll wait. We'll only have to wait t um, till October when the preparations can be made. So please um, allow the secretary to do what they want to do. Mr. Eunice Young, you want to say something? Well, we are very rational people. We. Uh, well, we can look at the individual provision on the 27th March version. Uh, I'm one way. I'm easy one way or another. It's just a sets out the framework for us for our discussion. I don't mind whether it's uh, the 1st of March or 27th of March version. Mr. Wong Kokin, you want to continue speaking? <laughs> If my excess, if I may exercise my power as the chairman to extend our meeting, uh, not by 15 minutes because we have a council sitting, so by 10 minutes, Mr. Wong Kwok Kin. The revision uh, dated the 7th of March is uh, the outcome of. Uh, discussion and input by members. It's not just from Mr. Holden Chow. So if you vetoed the use of uh, the um, version dated the 27th of March, then you're not being fair to all members who have had uh, input to the uh, paper. So for those who oppose the 27th of March, please uh, give us specific reasons. What's wrong with uh, the um, version? Give us grounds for uh, your opposition. And I think uh, the uh, proposed uh, areas of study should be the decision of, should be the collective decision of uh, this SE instead of that of the chairman. Can we allow our secretary, who is relatively neutral, to explain to us the differences between uh, the two versions? I've no intention to use my position as the chairman to um, uh, dictate uh, which way we should go. But then, as a result, I am criticized uh, by Mr. Ma Fong Kwok. Looking at the uh, minutes of the meeting dated the 3rd of March, now, BC of 1 has been moved uh, to 3 because the members felt that it would uh, give a clearer flow. And 1C was uh, combined uh, with a 3C, a 3E. And then under 1D, well, new 1D has included a quote uh, from the agreement. So in the 27th of March uh, um, version, we have added a footnote. That is uh, the original text of uh, the uh, term is in English, and therefore uh, the English uh, version should prevail. So. 
Other than that, we do not see any substantive uh, difference for your information. So uh, for the sake of efficiency, we'll put this item to the vote. I don't want further arguments over this matter. Uh, we don't have uh, the two versions here. We and the secretary has just explained uh, the differences to us, but uh, for the uh, version dated the 27th of March 1A, whether or not Mr. Leung and UGL signed and or executed the UGL agreement, where can we find this? In uh, the version dated the 3rd of March, I didn't have time to go through each and every paragraph. And 1C, whether or not Mr. Long received any payments from UGL pursuant to the UGL agreement, I didn't have time to compare the two texts sentence by sentence. I'd like to know whether this is already in the uh, version dated the 3rd of March. Secretary. On the 3rd of March, after members' discussion, we summarized the views expressed. Members asked us to confirm whether or not Mr. Long and UGL signed and or executed the UGL agreement. That was a, a request from members. And 1C is incorporated with 3E and uh, 3E and C is uh, put under one and also footnote was added under one C. That's the uh, that's re uh, demand that that's the uh, request of members. I agree entirely that the secretariat uh, has uh, regrouped the um, sentences or the paragraphs after our discussion, and uh, the text has been amended. According to the conclusion of a discussion, however, the two examples I quoted is not just about regrouping. I think there is some difference in some uh, there are things not found in the uh, version dated the first of March. Uh, let's uh, disregard who proposed uh, these amendments. You should think of whether these amendments can better reflect our thinking. I'm afraid, Chairman, our inquiry must be uh, seen to be fair, must be fair and seen to be fair by the public. Perhaps. Uh, Siwa Leung might think that these amendments uh, would uh, be to his advantage. Simply because of this point, I won't accept the amendments here. Because we do not have a full comparison of the two texts, if we are required to vote within such a short period of time, I don't think uh, this is healthy. Theoretically speaking, Mr. Lam, theoretically speaking, uh, we should have come fully prepared, and uh, for the version uh, the first of March, it was always with us. Well, my preparation was to use the first uh, draft. Uh, please allow me to complete uh, my uh, speech first. I don't want to waste uh, uh, members' time anymore. Shall we put this item to the vote? Should we use uh, the version dated the first of March? Those who would like to use the first uh, draft uh, by the sectarian, please raise your hands. Do you want uh, the names to be recorded? Mr. Lam Chuk Ting, Mr. Kenneth Leung, Mr. Alvin Young, Mr. Andrew Wen. Those who are for the uh, version dated the 27th of March, Mr. Wong Kok Kim, Mr. Ma Fong Kok, Dr. Eunice Ho, uh, Ms. Eunice Yen, and Dr. Priscilla Leung. So, uh, so after uh, voting, we decide to uh, use the uh, version dated the 27th of March 2017. Um, Dr. Junior saw as an LBI item on uh, confidentiality. I have no intention to deal with this because uh, there was really a 
dealt with previously. Legal advisor, a technical point. We approved our work plan and our work procedures, and uh, for uh, and in it, uh, there is uh, the uh, paper number of the proposed major areas of study. However, it is now amended, so uh, the number the number of the paper should be amended in the uh, text. So uh, to facilitate our work. I hope uh, the Secretariat can uh, uh, draft uh, the relevant uh, papers and also uh, the uh, witnesses for us. The date of our next meeting is 17th of July, 2.30, a closed door meeting. Thank you.